When the alarms go off at the New Jerusalem neighborhood, on the outskirts of Trujillo, men, women and children rush out with sticks and stones. 35-year-old Janina says they're living in fear. It's the only way we can defend ourselves from thieves because we can't carry guns. We have whistles and alarms to scare them away. In this already violent city, an unprecedented new crime wave has residents and authorities alarmed. And police say it's because of this. Illegal miners and Peruvian gangs have allied with one of Latin America's most powerful criminal organizations, the Venezuelan Tren de Aragua. They're trying to control the country's largest gold deposits in the Patas region, 300 kilometers away from the provincial capital. Last December, they attacked La Poderosa Mine, the largest gold exporter in the country, killing nine miners. The battle in Patas has spilled into Trujillo. Homicides, kidnappings, extortions, anyone is a target. Even Peru's most famous football player, Paolo Guerrero, has received extortion threats. Business owner Silver is terrified. Criminals demanded a $50,000 extortion payment. He's had no other choice but to ask a gang to protect him from other criminal groups. Every day we get threats with dynamite, extortion messages, bullet casings. The authorities have completely abandoned us. Former police chief Roger Torres says resources to combat criminality are insufficient. They have better weapons, munition, technology. With the presence of Venezuelan, Colombian, Ecuadorian and Brazilian criminal organizations, police are no match to their power. It's the eighth time the government has declared a state of emergency in 12 months in this region, but reinforcements have yet to arrive. The state governor says the government in Lima has not given him details of the security plan for this region, and residents are angry that they have not yet seen the army or police securing the city. There's no security. No one respects the curfew. I don't know where has the state of emergency been declared. Back at the New Jerusalem slum, residents wait for help. They say the few police patrols are ineffective, so they say they have no choice but to protect their families on their own. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Trujillo. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.